During this quarter, we will traverse the regions of the world known within the Seventh-day Adventist Church as the South American Division. This is Mission Sunlight. The first Adventist missionaries arrived in the region in the early 1900s. They used whatever modes of transportation they could to bring both physical and spiritual healing to the local people. For 38 years, Leo and Jesse Hallowell navigated the 40,000 miles of the waters of the Amazon River Basin with their boat named Lazaro. The people of Peru were beneficiaries of the ministry of Fernando and Anna Stahl. They intrepidly flew the first mission plane of Adventism in South America throughout Peru. With this work came personal sacrifices as some missionaries faced the death of a spouse or a child in remote regions, far from their family and friends. Although there was sacrifice, there were also rewards as the story of Jesus began to sink roots into the souls and growth and harvest was seen. Today in the South American division, more than 2,065,000 people call themselves Seventh-day Adventist. Imagine the stories those early missionaries will hear one day under the tree of life as they are united with generations who were impacted by their faithfulness. Much has been accomplished, but there are still many individuals who need to be introduced to their best friend, Jesus. More than 318 million people live in the countries that make up this division territory. Sao Paulo, Buenos Aires, Rio de Janeiro, and Lima are super cities on this continent, which continue to grow and expand their boundaries. More than three quarters of South America's population inhabits these and other large cities. In the South American division, there are eight countries, Ecuador, Bolivia, Peru, Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina, Chile, and Brazil. We have the project of establishing new churches, expand the kingdom of God everywhere through the evangelism of global mission pioneers, establishing Adventist schools in cities that will create churches and small groups to establish relationships between people and then establish congregations. We believe that small group is the basis of all Christian efforts. Our strategy is the most important mission to spread the gospel. This division has an ambitious eight projects targeted for funding through the 13th Sabbath mission offering. These projects are distributed in the West Central Brazil Union Mission, and the rest are in Northern Peru at the North Peru Union Mission. The projects aim to create new churches. The idea is that over the next nine years, we will have an Adventist presence in all these cities, so the donations contribute greatly to the creation of new churches. Of course, telling the story of Jesus isn't just the work of the pastor. Every member is called to share Jesus with friends, families, and co-workers. There are those who also feel a special call on their lives to go into unentered territories to work. Today, these individuals are reflecting the same kind of commitment that the early missionaries who came to South America demonstrated. We also have the dual mission design and public evangelism in which the pioneers preach in several places. This outreach is part of the global mission program that continues to expand in all 13 divisions where the Adventist Church is working. This quarter, you will meet Itelvina, a pioneer who works in Araguana, Brazil. When I moved in 2002 to Araguana, I knew there was no Adventist church. The nearest one was in Zamboya, 26 kilometers from Araguana. During the week, I couldn't go to Zamboya. I could only attend church services on Saturdays. You will learn how for the past 10 years, Itelvina's faithfulness to working in her community has raised up a group of believers. You will also meet Maria, she too moved to an area with no Adventist presence. When I got here at Juan Chaco, I noticed that there was no Adventist presence. Being an active Adventist member, I got to work, making plans to work for the Lord. Maria faced many struggles, but also found rewards for her labors. Maria has a desire to win her entire area to Jesus. This group faces many hurdles and the needs are great, but you will hear of their great faith and their personal sacrifice. You will also learn why Maria believes the impossible is possible. The countries of Bolivia, Brazil, Ecuador, and Peru have relatively young populations with nearly 40% under the age of 15. This statistic is one of the driving forces for using education as a major form of evangelism in the South American division. Reaching these youth with the gospel is one of the primary thrust here. In the state of Tocantins, Adventist schools and churches are growing rapidly. The mission office is in Palmas, the capital city of the state of Tocantins. The building is very well located and is a landmark structure in the city. 
Work in this region of Brazil has experienced solid growth in the past year, with the mission growing by 35%. As the work moves forward, the need for schools increases. This is a challenge because we have few Adventist schools, only five schools in the entire state. The schools that are currently in operation demonstrate how education can change the hearts of those who are hearing the story of Jesus. In an upcoming episode, students and teachers will share what their experience in meeting Jesus has been like. The Institute Adventist Central Brazil, or IABC, is a training ground for pastors, doctors, lawyers, and teachers. The IABC has a main function and purpose of the spiritual growth of students. Each day, our students gather in the early morning and late in the day to study the Word of God, sing praises, and pray. Every day, students have opportunities to develop spiritually in the classroom. Students also have a weekly religious education class for further study of the Bible. For 25 years, IABC has operated without a church building. There is no one central location to hold all the students and community for weekly chapels or Sabbath worship services. Today, construction is moving forward and the students and faculty look forward to the building's completion. Tarsila became a changed person through her contact with IABC. I was an agnostic, didn't believe in God. I had to suffer a little in order to learn. Tarsila will tell of how she has seen an entire neighborhood transformed. She will also share how her own life was changed from one of disbelief to one of active service. The North Peru Union is looking forward to advancing the work for the kingdom in their region also. It gives me great joy to be here before you, beloved brothers and sisters, to give you a special extended greeting from the thousands of Adventist members of the North Peru Union. We are excited for this 13th Sabbath offering project. We believe this offering will help the work of the Lord advance in the places where the church has great challenges, places with no Adventist presence. We greatly desire this contribution from the Worldwide Church. It will be a blessing for the building of four churches in places within our union that have no Adventist presence. As in Brazil, there are students in Peru who need to receive a Christian education. Church growth is adding to the enrollment in the schools and stretching them beyond capacity. We have an Adventist school and it has been in use for more than 50 years in this city. Due to the very fast population growth, Currently, there are around 7,000 inhabitants of Chiclayo. The church has also been growing in population. For this reason, our school in Chiclayo has no capacity to accommodate the children of the Adventist Church. We want to thank all those who contribute with their offerings. We want to establish the Kingdom of God in all these places mentioned, build strong schools and churches so the Kingdom of God comes close to these people. We still have many needs, more than 3,000 cities with many neighborhoods that do not have an Adventist presence. We want to say thank you to all of you for providing this opportunity, for helping to preach the gospel. Teachers, pastors, and lay members throughout this division are all working together to tell their friends and neighbors that Jesus is coming soon. Often this is being done in settings that are less than ideal. You can provide encouragement and financial support on Sabbath, December 29, with your generous 13th Sabbath offering. Reporting from the South American Division in Brazil at the Central Brazil Adventist Institute, to the Garupi Adventist School and the Adventist School of Chiclayo, to the Juan Chaco Church near Trujillo. This is Mission Sunlight.